Hello, another cleaning video. Today I'm gonna clean this backplate of my Remington KMC. Um, and it is uh, a crinkle plate backplate. I'm gonna be using a few things. First of all, this one over here with my uh, notorious uh, 3 grams uh, washing soda, 3 grams uh, dishwashing soap in 1 liter of water mixture. Over there we have some WD-40 if uh, I run into some annoying stains. Isopropyl alcohol if the stains are truly annoying, but I hope I don't need that. Uh, and this is demineralized water for a final rinse. And over here I have brush for large surfaces, brush for tiny surfaces, and brush for annoying stains. So let's get to it. First I'm gonna cover this thing. With my mix. There we go. And I'm gonna brush it. Avoiding the decals. Because the decals are water slide decals. What a lovely color. Let's do that again. Let's see what I can do about these white stains over here. Which don't want to go off. First I'm gonna try with some WD-40. And my trusty toothbrush. And see if that makes a bit of a difference. Most of it, not yet all of it, but WD-40 is doing its thing together with this toothbrush, which is great. I do the one on the other side as well. Go over it again. There we go. Rinse. And wash this thing again. And I think 
it will be fairly good to go after that. Forgetting all about the sides of this thing. We'll do those as well. Eh? Now we're at it. Soapy mix that's coming off clear, that's nice. Now I'm gonna use demineralized water to rinse off remaining chemicals. And what do we see? That I still have some white stuff left over here. Uh, that's annoying. Okay, looks like I still might have to do some more more work over here so what I'm gonna do is get some WD-40 it wasn't strong enough and then just a very very tiny bit of isopropyl alcohol now straight away go scrubbing some paints really don't like it, so this is really our last resorting. And WD-40 should protect the paints a little bit. Well, let's rinse that off. Better, but not completely there yet. These whiteout spots are really, really annoying. But it's getting off. That's great. I'm gonna hit it again with some WD-40 to protect the paint a bit and after that some isopropyl alcohol. Just a few drops and then mix it all and rub it in and this should get rid of those last bits of annoying white arts. Almost there. This one little fleck over here is taunting me. Right, what I'm gonna do now is very gentle. 
gently broke at it. I gently sketch the surface a bit, making sure I don't go through the paint. And there we go. And if I rub it now, it should go. Almost. And there's still a spot over here as well. So again, very, very gently. See, just scratching it a bit with the WD-40 and the isopropyl alcohol and the water mixture. It comes off. Over here I have a few more spots. See, very, very gently. No, and it comes off. That one's loose already. Right. Let's rinse this again. stuff. Now we'll rinse with some demineralized water to get the soapy stuff off. And I still have some work over here as you can see. Still some tiny bits of WD-40 but... Oh, white out, sorry. I'm gonna also Blow dry it for a second so you can see the end result. looking a whole lot better. I'm just gonna tackle these few spots again, but I'm gonna do that off camera. Now that the dirt is off and it has dried a bit, there's only one thing left to do and to give it a little shine. And this is crinkle paint, so the easiest way to do it is with this WD-40. Hate it for all of stuff, well basically only hate it for lubricants, but perfectly Good for turning crinkle paint typewriter back to its previous shine. Just spray it on there. Use a soft cloth or a paper towel. Spread it out. And wipe away excess. I've seen people brushing it in, but well, this works perfectly as well. There we go, like new. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.